Assalamualaikum and very good morning. I be to Madam Azlina and my fellow friend. My name is Mama Aris bin Sadiran. Okay, before I start, I will uh, do you. I I will you ask you whether you familiar with this logo. Yes. This is the halal logo. Uh, the function of halal logo is the for the purpose of the to ensure that the product is suitable for the Muslim consume. Okay. I stand here but uh, not to talk about the halal logo but I will uh, talk about something that related with halal which is the halal industries. Firstly, the halal industry includes companies that are certified halal meaning that their product and method meet the appropriate criteria as well as those that offer halal service to their customer. Halal industry does not uh, restricted to Muslim countries only but has a present in many nations around the world. According to Myanmar scientists at the Food Protein Research and Development, two strongest market for production of the halal are Middle East and also Asia. Now I will explain my my three main point, which is the contribution of the halal industry, which is to the consumer, technology, and also to the economic of the countries. Ladies and gentlemen, my first point is the contribution of the halal industry to the consumer. The, the first contribution of halal industry to consumer is co Muslim consumer around the world can get access to the halal food and also product. As we know, demand for halal certificate product have increased because the Muslim consumer is growing. According to Fake Law, who reported in the Wall Street Journal, sales of halal product are climbing as the number of US Muslim growth and demand was spilled over to the other consumer. Major non-Muslim uh, countries such as New Zealand, Australia and also United States was established their local market for halal product. Next is the contribution of halal industry to consumer is halal product price more cheaper compared to non-halal product. Asia has the largest Muslim population compared to other region but the population has the moderate uh, per capita income but at the same time Europe and also Middle East import 80% of its food requirement. Uh, therefore, uh, Malaysia, Malaysia, Thailand, China and India was taken step to tap into the global halal industry because lower production cost. Uh, with this, uh, this means that the, when the cost to produce the product is lower, they can sell the product at the, to customer at the lower price. The last contribution of halal industry to consumer is consumer will be more confident with product they use, generally in Islam. Every object and action is considered permissible unless there is a prohibited in, in the Islamic capture. The attraction, the attraction of the halal industry is focus on clean. Focus on clean and safe product. Provide uh, product and service that are high quality and also standard. Other than that, Every company that uh, produce halal product must get halal certificate. <coughs> what is halal certificate? Halal certificate is the an award or endorsement given by the Islamic body to ensure that the product is suitable to, uh, for Muslim consume. It means that when the every product produced by the halal industry was get the certificate halal, the consumer will be confident with product they use. Ladies and gentlemen, now we move to my second point, which is the halal industries contribute to the development of the uh, contribute to the development of technology sectors. Firstly, halal industry increase the scientific research technology. What is GMO? GMO is stand for genetic modified organism. Genetic uh, modified is the use of modern technology technique to change the genes of the organism, such as plant and also animals. According to Islamic Jurisprudence Council, food derived from biotechnology improved or GMO crop are halal. But at the same time, uh, the Muslim should exercise caution with the halal product. Other than that, cosmetic, uh, halal cosmetic also increase scientific research technology because the growing demand for the halal cosmetic product do transition uh, in the consumer for preference for halal products. Next is the halal industry use the current business model or business portal online. The growth of a global halal industry is definitely depending on the participation of e-halal e-marketplace. 
Halal e-marketplace can easily connect with millions of consumers in other countries by using online business. The unique features of the Halal e-marketplace include only Halal certificate product and service can be traded online, operate according to the Halal principle, cultivate the Islamic values, and lastly promote the right way of doing trading acti activities. Lastly, the contribution of Halal industry to the development of the technology sectors is enhancing research and development of the Halal product. Halal Science Center Chula Longkorn and Halal Product Research Institute at the University of Putra Malaysia was established for the purpose of enhancing research and development of halal product in the halal industry. Modern factory was established for industry manufacturing and processing of halal product to meet a huge growing demand from the global halal market. The center will analyze food product, non-food product and do research and development product of the halal related issues. Ladies and gentlemen, but uh, last but not, la uh, not least, my last point before I stop, my word is I will explain the contribution of the halal industry to the economy of the country. Halal industry was increased the export of the country. Malaysia was the biggest halal product exporter among the countries in the organism, Organization of Islamic Cooperation. The International Trade and Mi Industry Minister Datuk Sri Mustafa Muhammad said, the main export market for halal products are China, Singapore, United States, Indonesia, and also Netherlands. The six major halal export products of Malaysia is include of ingredient, food and beverage, palm oil, industrial chemical, cosmetic, and also personal care, and lastly, pharmaceutical. Another contribution of halal industry to the economy of the country is attracting investor, and at the same time promoting the country as the regional business of trading hub. The Malaysian government is very supportive of business and investment. By introducing the host incentive to attract, uh, attract the investor and promote the country as the choice location for business, uh, investors and companies uh, enjoy various incentives in terms of tech break, uh, non-restrictive employment policies, and many other attractions. For example, Special tax incentive by MIDA for halal food uh, producer to set up based in Malaysia. Under this incentive, business that have obtained halal certification are eligible for investment tax allowance of 100% of qualifying capital expenditure within a period of 5 years. Lastly, the contribution of halal industry to the country is incre increased income of the country. Over the years, several states in Malaysia have developed Halal Park as the of their integrated development plan to boost economic growth. And at the same time, the, uh, the Halal Park is, can reduce the employment, unemployment. The four Halal Park in Malaysia is Langu Halal Hub, Tanjung Manis Halal Hub, Penang Halal Hub, and also Pedas Halal Hub. Uh, as a conclusion for my today's presentation is there are many contribution of halal industry especially to to customer uh, to consumer technology economy of the country and the huge potential of the halal industry stem from the fact that that is not only uh, to muslim on alone but to the people of other faith that's all for me thank you <coughs> Assalamualaikum, I'm Sri Saranaya. Uh, you have said about the GMO. My question is, is GMO is halal or not? If GMO is halal, why people must exercise caution with GMO? <laughs> okay, thank you for your question. Okay, okay your, your question is to know whether the GMO is halal or not, right? Okay. Currently, these uh, are genes from fish. Uh, fish in, inside or animals such as pig can be introduced into the plant species without affecting appearance or taste but giving the plant more disease resistance and increase the nutrition of the uh, vegetable or the, the fruit. Uh, since pork is prohibited, any product made by pig gene are considered haram and not be accepted by Muslim consumer.
and also the scholar was not uh, agree that and uh, the product is one was make genetic organism trans transmission so the product is uh, not very, very halal yeah. okay that's all